my name is Mike Parks, and on behalf of Mouser Electronics, I'd like to talk to you today about my favorite new microcontroller platform, the Arduino Yoon. So when I was looking for project ideas for this video, I went back into my old Maker Notebook and picked out a project that I had done a couple years back using an older Arduino platform, specifically a package delivery notification system. So when I sense that a package has been delivered, I wanted to take a photograph, then I wanted to attach that photograph to an email and send it to me. I also want to notate the date time stamp and the value that the sensor was reading and take that data and append it to a Google Drive spreadsheet. Okay, so let's real quick take a look at the hardware. Nothing too complicated here. I didn't really want to focus on the hardware or circuit design. So all I'm using is a force sensitive resistor in a voltage divider configuration. Okay, now for the software side, there are five files that we will create ourselves. Two header files that contain our Tembu and our Google account information. One Arduino.ino file that will run on the Atmel side of the Arduino that will contain the main loop that our hardware will uh, sit there and sense the sensor values and then notify the uh, Linux side when a package is delivered. And then so we'll have to write a Python script that will execute on the Atheros side. And then we also have a configuration file for our webcam settings. Okay, so real quick, let's look at the Arduino side and the .ino file that will run on the Atmel chip. Now, if you've been using an Uno or before, please note that there is a different IDE, so make sure you go on to the Arduino website and download the proper IDE for the Yoon. And there's also some new concepts with the Yoon, including bridge, console, and process. To boil it down, it's basically a way for the Atmel Arduino side to talk to the Atheros Linux side. And then we're going to go ahead into our loop, which basically sits there and waits for the sensor value to detect a package delivery by exceeding a certain voltage threshold that you can uh, tinker with to meet your project, uh, meet your needs. All right, now let's take a look at the Atheros Linux side of the Yum. And first is the Python script that we're going to run that will actually go ahead and take care of actually sending the email message. Here, you're going to replace the from address, password, to address, and you can change the, the body text to whatever you like. <laughs> then we create the email message. Then we look through a director we've created on the SD card and called webcam. And we're going to go ahead and put our pictures in there and look for our pictures there. We then go ahead and find the lightest picture, attach that photo, and then go ahead and send the message. All right, and last we need to go ahead and install some applications onto the Yoon itself. Go ahead and log into your Yoon. Go ahead and click on Configure, Advanced Configuration Panel, System, software. Let's say, for instance, we want to install the FS Webcam app, which will actually take the photos for us. Simply type in FS Webcam, find package, and down here you'll notice that since mine's already installed, it will say FS Webcam, but if you go click over to Advanced Available Packages, you'll see the similar link. Instead of Remove, it will say Install. That's all the hardware connection you need set up. Um, because again, the wireless is built in. Um, if you can imagine making this into a final product, the only thing you would really need to have external cable wise would be the power cord, and that can be plugged off again of a standard micro USB. We'll go ahead and deliver our package now. Go ahead and set that down. I've got an email message package delivered. There we go. There is the photograph. Okay, then just real quick, I want to show you what gets printed out back through the console. We have a uh, package delivery date time stamped, the readings um, on the analog A0 pin. Last, I just wanted to take a quick look into Google Drive and look at the spreadsheet, a list of all the package deliveries. And I'm going to go ahead and trigger a new entry. You should see a new entry come in here. And there we go. All right, that'll do it for this video. 
If you've got questions or comments, see below for my contact information. I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. And if you're interested in getting your hands on your own Arduino Yoon or any of the electronic components we talked about today, I highly encourage you to go visit the good folks over at Mouser Electronics. They are at mouser.com. And with that, on behalf of the folks at Mouser, thank you very much for watching.